Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Maths and Mr. Care video. In this video we're going to be looking at uh, solving a multiplication problem using short multiplication. So in this example from the 2016 arithmetic um, questions from paper 1, uh, we've got 2376 multiplied by 15. Now bearing in mind we're multiplying by a two digit number, we're going to have two layers to our um, long multiplication in this question. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply by our units, then we're going to multiply by our tens afterwards. So first of all, 5 times 6 is going to give you 30. So that's 0 in the units and 3 in the tens. 5 times 7 is going to give you 35. Add the 3 gives you 38. So that's going to give you an 8 in the tens, add the 3 in the hundreds. Next time, we're going to multiply up the 3 in the hundreds. So 5 times 3 is going to give us 15. Add 3 gives us 18. Now 18 hundreds is going to be 1,800. So it's going to be an 8 in the hundreds and a 1 in the thousands. And finally, we're going to multiply by the thousands. So 5 times 2 gives you 10, and the 1 is going to give you 11. Now 11 um, thousands which give you 1 in the thousands and 1 in the tens of thousands. As we've got no, multi no, no multiplying the tens of thousands, our 1 here is just going to simply sit on the end there to give us 11,880. Next up, we're going to be multiplying by 10. Bearing in mind we're multiplying by 10, everything's going to be shifted one decimal point to the left, as we're making everything 10 times bigger. So 1 times 6 would be 6, as it's 10, it's 10 times 6, so it's going to give us 60. So it's going to be 0 in the tens, and a, a 0 in the units, and 6 in the tens. Next up, 10 times 70 is going to give us 700, so it's going to be a 7 in the hundreds. 10 times 300 is going to give us 3,000, so 3 in the thousands, and 10 times 2,000 is going to give us 20,000, so that's 2 in the tens of thousands. Next up, let's, as we've multiplied by the units and the tens, we've multiplied the whole, the top number, by the bottom number. So finally, the last thing we need to do is add up each of the places in the place value of the numbers to find out what our answer is. So 0 adds 0 in the units is going to give us 0. Looking at the tens, 8 adds 6 is 14, which is going to give us 4 tens and 1 hundreds. 8 adds 7 is 15, add the 1 is going to give us 16 hundreds, so that's 6 in the hundreds and 1 in the thousands. Uh, 1 add 3 is 4, add 1 is 5, that gives us 5 thousands. And in the tens of thousands, 1 add 2 is going to give us 3. So our finished answer is going to be 35,640. So what the examiners will be looking for in this question will be a correct answer for two marks. However, if you do get an incorrect answer, by showing a valid long multiplication method, you'll gain one mark as long as you did the majority as long as you did the method correctly. So you multiply by the units, then by the tens, and each of them had a separate row here. So we're looking at looking at the units and the tens. And then if there was a mistake in one of the digits, you would still get one mark for showing a valid method. Well, there you go. Solving a short multiplication um, by multiplying a four-digit number by a two-digit number. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if you did, then please do like the video and subscribe to the channel for more of the same. Why not share it with your friends or colleagues if you found this helpful? And if you would like to use this in lessons, then please do. I'll just ask that you uh, just make a note of the channel. There's a little banner at the beginning uh, to point people towards it. But thanks very much for watching. As always, if there is a topic in maths that you'd like covered from key stage 1 all the way up to key stage 3, then do put a comment in the um, underneath the video or message me directly through YouTube. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at, uh, at Mr. Cares. Um, if you tweet me, then I'll look at creating a video to solve the problem you would like to solve. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.